Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you just washing the camper and getting it ready for travel. I'm going to wash the outside and I'm also going to clean the inside. I'll show you what I use to clean the inside. Uh, these Tab 400s, I've kind of explained that in one of the other videos that I washed the camper. The, they say you're not supposed to use anything really harsh on these campers because the exterior is that Asdell material and you don't want to really use any kind of power wash system you know like a really harsh car wash i mean i guess you could do the very very easy spray but they really don't recommend it just because of the windows and the siding it's really not necessary so i'll just show you kind of how i go around and get it done pretty quickly and some people use wax on their campers but i don't i think it shines up just fine just with the regular car wash soap and I really especially like to get this front part really well. I've got so many, you know, dried bug stuff and I really get that bottom diamond plate really well and get up under there and really trying to get off as much of that stuff as I can before I take off. And obviously I do as much as I can without getting on the ladder and then I'll have to resort to the ladder, <laughs> which is older than, I don't know, it's probably 40 years old or more. <laughs> it's pretty rickety. And I sped this video up, but it didn't seem to speed up too much in, like I see in other videos. So I'll probably just have to edit this out and cut some of this off. But do y'all wash your RVs and do you take them to a, like a big car wash? I'm just curious how other people wash their campers. And on the windows, you know, they say these are acrylic windows. So you're not supposed to really use anything harsh on that. Do not use Windex on these windows. Uh, not even vinegar and water. When I talked to PJ at Princess Craft and Round Rock, she said just use a like a microfiber towel and just light, you know, just water really just because they just get scratched so easily. So just be careful with those acrylic windows. Okay, I got the front done, the side done. And I like to get just the front before I go on a trip, a big trip, just because of the bugs. I just kind of inspect anything. Y'all know it gets a lot of bug hits, so it's nice to get that stuff off. I think it's good because if it dries on there, I guess it could scratch stuff. I don't know. I just like to get it off before I start. And there's still, some of this stuff is still kind of bad. I'll have to go back over this. But the most important part too, to me, are the solar panels. I want to make sure I get those good and clean before I go anywhere. It's dirtier than you think. Um, just the back window and the solar panels get pretty And then one thing, I know I show this in the other video, I wash them up my tap, but I really like to get these bugs off of this front. This is the bathroom vent. I don't know why that bugs me. Ha ha, get that, bugs me. <laughs> but I'm way up on the ladder. I only have one more rung to go, so I've gotta be kind of careful. So it's kind of hard to get it, but I just like to get that bug stuff off. Okay, and Jupe's watching me very, you can't see him over the bush. Maybe I'll get a picture of him. He's in the, he's in the window watching me, of course. Let's see, I'll show you. you know, we have to deal with the cats. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> of course, now he's not in the window. And you're not coming out yet. The cats are out here. One thing I always like to do before I start a trip is just vacuum. I swear this dust buster, I'll put a link below. I've linked it before. Just the old fashioned cheap dust buster. You don't need anything fancy. This thing does so, so well. I just like to use it really quick. Just get some of the dirt out and then I'll wipe it down.
and I do make sure I wipe out the refrigerator and I think I've told y'all this before my light hardly works it works sometimes sometimes it doesn't but I like to just give a nice wipe out to that with a you know a Clorox wipe which I don't like to buy those things but vinegar works great I use the vinegar and water which works just fine and you can tell I want to slope right now and then I'll wipe out the bathroom and my bathroom stays pretty clean just because I'm just one person but I just like to wipe everything down I use vinegar and water just about for all of the plastic surfaces and then I will show you what I use for the this wood I use simple green I use the just probably a 50 50 it's in a green container <laughs> I don't know how that happened I just got lucky but it really does get the dirt off little mud spots and I even use this at my house it just gets all the little fingerprints and paw prints and stuff off very nice it doesn't hurt the wood I just very light but you'd be amazed on how much dirt you get in here but the simple green really works and I know there's a lot of other things to do to prep to you know get ready for a trip but I just want to do just a little general video to say that I'm getting ready